The coronavirus outbreak has left thousands of people in the hospitality and service industry without jobs here in Texas. And as hotels and restaurants continue to shut down in San Antonio, there is one nonprofit organization working to make sure laid off service workers and their families don't go hungry in the midst of all this. Devin Clark with how it's being done and how you can help. Waking up every morning, making 30 gallons of soup. Um, and then coming over here, banging out lunch, going and buying more product. Local celebrity chef Jason Dady owns six restaurants, so he's used to being busy. But since all San Antonio restaurants have been ordered to close their dining rooms and hotels have been downsizing due to the coronavirus outbreak, his mission has shifted from selling food. How many you need? Two, what can I get you to drink to start with? To providing free meals. We're trying to change the menu every day if we can. It's for the hotel workers. It's for, you know, anyone who is doing anything in a hotel or a restaurant or a bar. We want to make sure that we're feeding them hot meals every day. It's being made possible through an emergency fund set up by Culinaria, a nonprofit organization <laughs> dedicated to supporting the hospitality industry. It's all dependent on how much money we raise. The efforts are well appreciated and for some necessary. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't eat today. I haven't been getting no money coming in at all. So this helps us eat lunch and dinner. Um, for all my kids. This is day five of the mission and so far more than 600 free meals have been served up here at Alamo Barbecue Company on Grayson. Dady says he plans to continue the mission as long as it takes. Because they're going to need it to, you know, as they start this journey of getting through this. And lunch is served from one to three daily and dinner from six to eight out here live in front of Alamo Barbecue Company. You can see the line forming. A lot of folks actually standing a little closer than they should be, but we do want to emphasize that monetary donations are not the only ones that are accepted. Organizations have been donating pallets of water and food. To find out how you can be a donor to this great cause, just visit our website, ksat.com. For now, we're live in Government Hill, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.